Hello guys, welcome to Everything Metallurgy and welcome to Day 96 of 100 Days 100 Concepts. So as you can uh, already see on screen, in this video I am going to discuss about some important basic formulae from electrical properties. So we know electrical properties is one of an important topic in which you see, you know, uh, one or two important questions every year. So I thought why not, uh, you know, discuss all these important glossary type of uh, formula in this video right so firstly whenever we talk about electricity or electrical flow what is the law that comes to us ohm's law so what is ohm's law telling me it is telling me that v voltage is proportional to current okay and what is this r r over here is the resistance okay r is the resistance which is the proportionality constant okay so v is equal to ir e is my ohm's law the next comes resistivity. So basically, uh, resistivity is explaining you about, uh, you know, uh, the dimensions, not only resistance, okay, fine, resistance of a body. What is the resistance, first of all? Resistance is the ability to actually oppose my current flow, right? So basically, resistivity is again the measure of the resistance in a particular material with some dimensions so here you see a is nothing but the cross section area and l is the length of that particular conductor which we say right so what is resistivity rho resistivity is the measure of resistance and what is resistance resistance is the opposing force to electricity right so resistivity uh, is equal to r a by l where a is my area cross section area and l is my length of my particular material or the conductor right so what is the unit over here so if you carefully see what is the unit of resistance so basically the units of resistance is ohms right so here if you see this is meter square and this is meter so this gets cancelled so the units of resistivity are ohm meter okay ohm meter is the unit of resistivity now we said that resistivity will measure the resistance of a body similarly we have something called as conductivity so what will it say it is just a reciprocal of my resistivity okay if the resistivity is less then the conductivity is very good right that means it actually indicates that the resistance in the body is less the opposing force for the flow of electricity is less if the rho is less so that is why we got this particular variable called conductivity or sigma which is equal to 1 by rho and when we come to um, semiconductors basically we know that we have electrons as well as holes both these can conduct electricity right so that's why the conductivity contribution will be from both these guys okay what is n here n is the electron charge carrier concentration okay so n is basically the charge carrier concentration here it is electronic concentration e is nothing but the charge so basically we can also write this to be modulus okay so the charge of electron and what is mu e mu e is the mobility of my electron okay so n what is n electron concentration e charge of electron and mu e is the mobility of electron so this comes from electron right this guy this term is actually contributing to the electron conductivity but we also have something called as holes right so here we have holes correct so p again the hole concentration h is a you know the charge uh, concentration again the sorry p is the concentration as i said h is again the same charge okay so the charge of electron and the charge of hole is same with opposite magnitudes right the electron is negatively charged whereas hole is a positively charged so both has same uh, you know magnitude that's why i used the magnitude symbol over there and what is the charge of electron we know right charge of electron is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulomb this is what you have to use and of course you will be getting mu a and mu h where is where uh, mu h is your mobility of holes right 
now this is the conductivity in a semiconductor now for an intrinsic semiconductor we have this condition where each electron jumping from one uh, band to another that means from valence band to the conduction band you produce a hole right that means for every electron charge carrier there will be a hole generation that is why n is equal to p and this is in my intrinsic semiconductor okay so if i just take that to be ni which usually we say that the intrinsic charge carrier concentration then now just using the same formula take ni into mod e common and you will be left with mu e plus mu h right so sigma equal to ni e into mu e plus mu h right whereas if we are talking about extrinsic semiconductors so we know what are extrinsic semiconductors right where we dope some elements either 3a elements or 5a elements in n type uh, in n type uh, semiconductors we basically dope with 5a elements whereas for p type we usually dope with 3a group elements right so basically n type is where electrons are the majority charge carriers and holes are negligible similarly p type r where you see holes to be the majority charge carriers and the electrons are negligible so that's why if you see in n type p is taken to be zero that means the whole concentration is taken to be zero similarly in p type n is taken to be zero that means the electron uh, concentration is taken to be zero right so this is about uh, the different important formula in semiconductors now coming to one more important thing i think i already made a video on this a separate video explaining this where the effect of temperature on resistance how good is the temperature affecting my resistivity of a body right so metals behave separately and semiconductors behave separately if you deal with metals we know that if you increase the temperature the resistivity increases and hence the resistance increases that is in metals right and that is actually explained by this particular governing equation where rho resistivity is equal to rho not plus alpha t alpha is a constant rho not is a resistance at a reference level right so if you see here as the temperature increases what is happening my rho is also increasing correct so in metals as temperature increases resistance increases that means the conductivity will decrease right whereas in semiconductors if you carefully see the resistance will, the resistivity will actually uh, change with respect to temperature in an exponential manner in this particular governing equation where rho is equal to rho not into e power of eg by 2kt where eg is the band gap k is the boltzmann constant and d is the temperature so if you carefully see here if temperature is increased it is on the denominator side so this whole term will be decreased correct so my resistivity is coming down hence the resistance of semiconductor will decrease as the temperature is increasing right so metals the resistance increases as temperature increases semiconductors the resistance decreases as the temperature increases hence the conductivity will also increase and also we saw here what is conductivity sigma is equal to 1 by rho it is just reciprocal of the resistivity so using the same concept over here you can also generate the formula for electrical conductivity and its relation with temperature so it's pretty much simple so from here what you get 1 by sigma is equal to 1 by sigma naught into e power e g by 2 kt right so this is the thing so just cross multiplication you will be getting what sigma is equal to sigma naught into e x p of minus okay because it is going on to the other side so this would be your formula which i already uh, wrote here right so this is in the case of semiconductors okay so these are some important formula that you need to uh, memorize for electrical properties and you know memorizing is not uh, like just mugging up but how you got this how you are actually um, getting this formula okay so concept is very important behind any particular mathematical equation right so that's it from this video we'll meet you again in the next video if you like it please hit the like button and also share with all the gate metallurgy aspirants so I know we have less than five days from now. So I wish all the very best for GATE 2021 aspirants. And not only that, we are conducting a free webinar on 10th Feb, 7 p.m. The link will be given in the description. So you can just enroll by clicking on it, filling the form and joining the WhatsApp group. 
so yeah that's it from my side and also visit everythingmetallurgy.com if you want to enroll for our video courses or live classes thank you guys